Hi guys, Miss Nikki here, and this is basically our last one for garden growers. Where I found this recipe called Rainbow Salad out of one of our books here, one of our cookbooks on the children's floor. Um, I didn't exactly follow the recipe, but this is the book. If ever you want to get it, and if you want to try to follow the full recipe, there's a lot of different ingredients, but I think it'll still be good. So, got a bunch of gloves here because. You know, usually if you're working with food and you're going to be feeding people, you should probably wear gloves. So the first part of it, I'm going to show you, you can make croutons and you can make them star shaped. We got a cool little star cutter here and you just, that's all you do. You got your little star shape. We'll go ahead and do another one. And this is actually sourdough bread, but you can use any kind of bread you want. And then you'll want to brush it with some olive oil. So, but I did not bring my little brush today. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that is your, that will be your crouton. We'll toss that in the oven here in a little bit. And speaking of oven, always make sure you have parent guardian or somebody with you for that. So we're going to start with, this will be your base. It's just a good spring mix. And then we've got shredded carrots. They were already cut up like this. I've got a tomato. I'm going to go ahead. I already cut it in half, and I'm just gonna kind of want it in big chunks. It called for cherry tomatoes, but I like these tomatoes better. So yeah, and again, using a knife, parent or guardian. All right, and then you've got your peppers here, which I already cut them a little bit. So that way I could just show you, you can go like this and pull that whole piece off. And if you want, you can save some of those seeds, let them dry out a little bit, and you should be able, you could even plant them if you wanted. Get all this junk out of here. Now this one, you can cut it however you want. You can do chunks or strips or however, it does not matter. I figure we'll just do some strips. And that should be good. Yeah, that looks good to me. All right. And then same with the yellow pepper. Pull that out of there. See all those seeds? You can actually save most of them. Let them dry for a little bit and you can plant them. So, and then I also made the dressing. I followed the recipe for the most part with all these kind of ingredients here. Got the olive oil, the honey, soy sauce, salt and pepper, some nice vinegar and tofu. Have you guys ever heard of that or seen this stuff? Ooh, I was kind of nervous. So it said to put it in a blender. I did not bring my blender. So, I just took a whisk, whisked it up really good, and then put it in here. And one more thing that went in there, fresh mint. Yeah. And I actually tasted just a little tiny bit of it. It wasn't too bad. So, all right, we've got all this. Give me just a sec, and I'll show you, the, show you all, it all done. All right, here's our finished product. You see our cool little stars. And then I didn't mention this earlier, but there's a little bit of purple there, that purple leaf. So we put all of this rainbowy colors in a blue bowl that creates your rainbow. Pretty cool, huh? So I hope you guys enjoyed that and we're gonna read a little bit of a book now. All right guys, so we're back and I've got this little, it's actually a graphic novel. It's called Rutabaga, The Adventure Chef by Eric Colossal. I like graphic novels because a lot of times they have really cool artwork. So you got this little guy skipping through the forest and he comes across this sword and he's like, found you. You see this? And then he's picking off little mushrooms. He's like, these are perfect. Legendary bell top mushrooms only grows in the wild on legendary artifacts. Halt. Oh no. Drop your weapons and step away from the sword. You are surrounded. What do you want with the legendary dragon sword? What? No, I just want these mushrooms. They only grow on legendary artifacts, I swear. Smell them. All right, I believe you. We've been looking for this sword for days. Let me introduce myself. My name is Wynn. This is Manny, hi. And this is Beef, yo. Beef, who named you that? My mom. And what a lovely name it is. What's your name? My name? The one and only Rutabaga, the adventure chef. Having grown bored of the standard food offerings available in the towns and inns, I now travel the land 
searching for strange and magical ingredients to add to my cookbook. Pretty exciting, huh? I've been adventuring for a few months now and it's been great so far. I've cooked some amazing things no one has ever eaten before. Someday I hope to open my own restaurant and really wow people with my creations. Ooh, I don't know, roasted mud leech, poached trifin, boggled fish, ghost mushroom salad? Ooh, well good luck with that. In the meantime, we have much bigger problems to deal with. And the sword pops out. We have a dragon to kill. Oh man, I might have to finish this one too. That sounded pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, thanks.